You will never change your life until you change something you do daily. You will see amazing results if you continue these habits. So day 13, this is called the keep the momentum going and adjusting into your new lifestyle. Today we'll be doing an inner thigh workout. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. Wait, it's not as hard as you think. Habits develop gradually, so that means I believe in one step at a time approach. Don't just throw everything out your fridge, eat only veggies, and go to the gym for three hours today. That's not going to last very long. See, the trick to getting your dream body is by slowly adjusting your lifestyle. That's why it's called fitness journey. Learning to master each step is the trick. Adjusting your lifestyle can also include inviting a friend or family member along on your fitness journey, or joining a group such as a dance class, a tennis lessons, politely ask them again for their help of being a positive influence. If they don't, I believe advising them to keep a distance and surrounding yourself with people that want you to succeed. Maintain your good habits after the week is over. Once you have experienced one week of getting, a he getting started with before and after pictures, creating a new exercise schedule, making a vision board, and other lifestyle changes, you will see amazing results if you continue these habits. Yeah, so I worked in an office where there were just constant donuts like coming in and out of the office. Yeah. And people that just like, they, they're like, oh, somebody's on a diet. Let's just try to sabotage it for some odd reason. So if you're feeling that they're doing that, just it's honestly a hey, you know, I'd actually like your help in, in helping me with my fitness journey rather than um, like when you kind of see that direction. Have you guys seen that ever in your guys' like oh God, yeah. all the time? Yeah. <laughs> so, and I don't know why. I think it's just like misery loves company. So it's just kind of like, you know, hey, I'm working towards something. Like don't sabotage it. You know what I mean? My mistakes in the past have been I don't have a whole lot of patience. So I think it's exactly that. Like I try something and then I don't see the immediate results. Um, which I know is why the before and after pictures. Um, so then I just kind of like, eh, it's not doing anything anyway, and then I give up. Mm -hmm. So I think I just need to be patient and do those small steps and not try to make the drastic changes. And I think one of the things like throughout this has been staying out of the negative, and so not beating myself up because I had a slice of pizza. Like, mm -hmm. it happened, and I'm gonna move forward and I'll do better next time. Yeah, so, that's awesome. So those small things. So with mine, um, I definitely have my work is all sweets, pretty much. It's chips, sodas. Um, I mean, I think the only healthy thing is the water jug. <laughs> like, we have nothing at work, and all my coworkers are like, you know, if one person's eating something sweet and, and sugary, it's like every, they share it with everyone, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's, it's very hard, even at my own home, like my mom, she's the same way. She's like, if she wants something sweet, she like, kind of like, kind of lings it over my head a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's definitely hard to find that supportive ladder, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, finding those people that, you know, this group that we have here is so perfect, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and then if once that ends, it's like, oh no, I have my support group, it's, you know, it's, I mean, we'll all of course be there, but it's gonna be hard not having us three days a week. Surrounding yourself with people that are gonna be there to help you. So you guys even took on this this challenge to, to do this, this case study with me. And as as each time we're reading more and more things that we're learning and we're challenging ourselves and we're growing, you guys are definitely growing and it's it's awesome to see that. Now I just to keep the momentum going, it's learning, it's thinking, what did I do in the past that made me fall off this? Yeah. And as you start to kind of find out more and more about yourself and your weakness, your weaknesses, you go, ah, okay, this is what I'm gonna do next time. And little things that instead of having like such a drastic goal change, you know, is like just little small goals along the way. And making sure you're rewarding so yourself. I loved how you, um, Amy said, not beating yourself up. Yeah. Um, that is such a common thing I think that women do, mm -hmm. um, kind of shock your body into that plateau, um, out of that plateau. And the other thing too is if you don't work out and you already have been, uh, it's actually good to have a day off. It's actually good to really rest the body and let the body repair itself. So make it look at it like, you know what? I deserve this as a good time for me just to relax and take this day. So throughout this whole progress, um, you know, I've definitely 
My weight hasn't changed on the scale, but I have, my clothes are fitting differently, and I finally, I've always been a size 18 to 22, you know, in the large, extra large plus sizes. And over the weekend, uh, over this week, I was able to finally fit into a size medium for the first time in a very long time. So, it was very exciting. <laughs> How'd that feel? It was good. It was like, the hard work has been paying off, even though I don't see it on the scale. Like, it's still paying off even, like, on my body. So let's talk about that really quick. What does body composition mean to you? Well, even though I'm starting to trim down a little bit and my weight not be changing, it, I'm get, building up more muscle. So. so do you see how frustrating it is for women that oh my are God. looking at that scale? Yeah, it's so frustrating. It is, like... I haven't actually gotten on the scale that many times and I had to get on the scale a couple times this week and so that's when I was like, <gasps> it hasn't changed but then I feel better, my clothes feel better, so I definitely, I definitely feel a change. So, I very know something I even struggled with at the very beginning of my exercise journey or fitness journey, I guess you call it, is I would just look at the scale and I would just think, okay, well, you know, what makes it go up? What makes it go down? And the first thing I thought of was, I was like, all right, well, not eating, right? You yeah. know, that's like the first thing that's just, you. it's just like these weird like, thoughts kind of go through your head and they're the wrong thoughts to be honest because what ends up happening is you start starving yourself but how long does that really honestly last for right it doesn't so then you end up ruining your metabolism and gaining fat and you're starving your muscle and you're losing all that muscle so um, basically what Stacy's experiencing is even though the scale has not changed her body composition is now changing she's starting to feel better and she's starting to fit into her clothes so that's a huge plus. So we're gonna go ahead and start the workout. It is called the Pyramid Inner Thigh Workout. You're gonna need a slider, a yoga ball, and some booty bands. We're gonna start off with a warm up, and then we're gonna go into each one of those and we're gonna repeat it three times. So go ahead and watch us. We will show you how to do it. So warm up, we're gonna go into a nice good sumo squat. <clears throat> sumo squat, you're gonna be working at different muscles rather than just a neutral squat. So you're gonna be pushing more with your inner thigh, so bring it down nice and slow. Push your heels into the ground, come up and squeeze your glutes, come up at the top, and all the way back down. We're gonna go for 10. Good, always keeping your chest up, really opening those knees up so they're going right up over those toes. So dynamic stretching is what we're starting off with. Next we're gonna go into what I call them skaters. So you're just gonna go step, bring that foot across into a curtsy and tap. Good, step, tap, come up a little bit so I don't push you back too far. Perfect. Good, one more on each side. Good, open into a nice, good wide position right here. We're gonna just go into a side lunge or side squat and reverse alternating here. Perfect. Beautiful, give me 10 jumping jacks. Modification jumping jack is beautiful. All right, let's grab some sliders. So each one of us, let's grab one. So this is a slider, a hard plastic on the bottom. This actually can be bought in also as what you call, um, I think they're called couch sliders that you put underneath your furniture to slide around on your floor. That can easily be done in replacement of these as well. I'm gonna go ahead and keep your chest up through the whole time. You're gonna go ahead and give me one. Good, now what I'm looking for here is your knee and your foot and your hip are all in alignment. Perfect, yes. And then put that gravity in and slide it up using that inner thigh. Do you feel that? So now we got two. One, two, good, three. One, two, three, now we got four. Good, last one, five. Your challenge is getting nice and low on those. To get a, that, that leg a break, we're gonna switch over to the other side. Same thing, one. Good, two. 
three reps. Four. Last one, five. Beautiful. It is a pyramid. So now switch to two. One, I'm gonna turn around and look at your form. Keep going. Four, beautiful. Dig that foot in, dig that toe into the ground. Good, perfect. After that, you got three. Two. And one. Beautiful, switch sides. You're done with your sliders. Here we go, five. You can do these sliders at home on your carpet. We're just out in the sand. You can also do them on grass. You can do them um, so many different places. You can take them on vacation with you in the gym. Let's see. Perfect. They look awesome. Okay. So go ahead and just kind of kick that off to the side. We're work on sliders. We're going to grab our balls next. So to place yourself on the ball, <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of be behind the ball and slowly roll onto it. <clears throat> what you're looking for is that you're going to be in a straight line all the way from your head all the way down to your knees and your toes are behind you. Awesome. I made this one up and it's going to be the best thing you've ever done. So here we go. One squeeze. And hold. Good. Relax. Two squeezes. Nice good squeeze on each one. And hold. Good, three squeeze. Shh. Shh. Everything you got. Good, here we go for four. You're taking the cellulite off, strengthening those inner thighs. Everything you've done as far as your glutes, now you're reversing it and you're balancing your body out by doing the adductors now. Good. Hold for five seconds here. Wow. Take a little breather, good job. Now we have a pyramid, so we're gonna go from five down to one now, okay? Here we go. Five, four, good. Keep your core nice and tight. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, take a little breather. Awesome, and let's go four. Are you feeling it? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, they're, they're saying yes. Nice, good squeeze in. If you, uh, you can half, half ass this one. If you don't, if you're not really paying attention. Here we go. Three. Good. Two. How long we hold for? Just a, it's a just a hold, and then release, and then last one. Good squeeze and relax. Great job. Now go ahead and find a mat. Stand to your side facing me, so I can kind of instruct you. Your top leg, I'm actually going to bring behind you. You want to kind of open your hips up a little bit so you can allow, open them up a little bit more to the sky. Exactly. So you can allow that bottom leg to come up. You're going to take your weight and you're going to place it on your inner thigh here. And you're going to, you can either lie down completely and just kind of put your arm all the way down or you can be halfway up where um, Amy's at. So go ahead and give me a lift through that. Good. Awesome. And down. Now you're going to give me a two pulls up at the top and down, beautiful. One, two, three. Really control this movement, really connecting to those muscles. Four. Is this with a straight leg on the bottom? Yep. And five. Beautiful. And back to five. Beautiful, back to four. Feeling it? Yeah. Okay. So if you were to advance your weight, these girls are doing 10 pounds. But if they were to advance it to maybe a 15, they're gonna even fill it even more. But I think a 10 is perfect to start off. Even a five pound. Beautiful. And switch sides on those. So we're starting off with one, then we're going to five, and then we're going from five down to one. And each one of these are little pulses up at the top. So again, we'll see. So one, and down. Give me two pulses up at the top. Down, 
Good, three. Good, and down. The lower that weight is on your leg, the harder it will be. The more that you put it up towards your origin, the easier it will be. So you'll kind of notice you'll feel it a little bit more challenging when you put it more towards like the, your top of your knee. And then once you're done, we have a total of two more rounds and we are done for today. But exactly what you did. So grab some water and then we'll uh, jump in. One, and up, two, and up, three. Four. Beautiful, and five. Ooh, when you dig in, you really fill it. Beautiful, stay on that same leg. Stay on the same? Yep, okay. I'm gonna go from five now to one. Here we go. Good, four. Modification, not going as low, right? Okay. Beautiful. Woohoo! One. One. Two. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three, four, I'm feeling a sweat. Five, grab that ball. Alrighty, so the difference of ball sizes, take a, take a note you got a large, a medium, and a small. Doesn't matter really the size of the ball, just as long as you make sure you're on it correctly. Here we go. One and squeeze, two, three, Four. Roll your hips up, tighten your core. Two, three, four, and hold. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, take it to five. Four, three, two, and one, and four. Two, three, four, squeeze. Three, two, two. And one. Good, let's do a nice little stretch. Go ahead and uh, when you sit onto your mat, show me a butterfly stretch. So Amy had a really, really good question. She asked, is this ball one something that we could do just mindlessly kind of watching television? And uh, the answers we came up with were absolutely, if you're sore, definitely take some time of rest to let those muscles heal. Um, another one I said is, uh, this is a great one if you're at work and you have a ball that you sit on during work, it's a ball is so good for your core if you kind of move around. You can also use it for balancing by holding one foot up at a time. I use this a lot for kind of older clients that need that stability. Um, but yeah, even when you're sitting at the desk, you can just go here and just be typing and squeezing. I did that a lot to strengthen my knees. I used a little ball at my desk as I would do this, which I felt the strengthening of the um, adductor muscles. And then I would use a band to get the reverse and get the other side. So when I was able to do some high impact uh, cardio and dancing and things, I felt no longer knee pain because I used those two different things on my desk. So highly recommend it. The girls are stretching before we go into our next one. Lay all the way down now, see if that's a little bit more comfortable for you. Yep, perfect. And one, beautiful. Two, good, three. So each, keep going, each exercise that you did is kind of working various muscles, but it's still kind of aiming for that one. You'll notice this will feel a little different than this one, right? Okay. Why? Because there's just so many different muscles into your legs. That's why I love to sculpt. It was my favorite. It was because there's so many different ways that you can kind of move the body around to get into those different muscles. So that's why a one-legged squat here is really good because it, it throws you off your daily just regular squat. Stay on that same leg and then you go from five all the way down to one, right? Oh, you did, sweet, okay. Stacy's ready to switch. I'm gonna join you. Woohoo! 
All right, girlies, last round. Chest up big, okay? Kind of looks more straight out. You're going to go more on one side as you go into that lateral, good. And then now dig that foot into the ground as you bring it up using that inner thigh. So that was one, now we got two. One, two, now we got three. One, out to the side. You're kind of going a little behind. There you go, perfect. Four. <laughs> Five. Good, we're stay on the same side. Go to five. Dig that foot in. Good. Good, four. Three. Beautiful. <laughs> Chilling. It's working a lot of muscles on that one. All right. Switch side. Switch leg. Beautiful. Core tight. Chest up. Looking straight out. And one. Two. Three. Make sure you're breathing. Four. And five. Using a lot of core strength to pull it up. Good, and then you're gonna go from five to one now, okay? Hold the pyramid, you kinda get it now? Okay, five, four. One. Good, four. And three. Two. And one. Beautiful, everyone's gonna grab a ball. Let's show, let me show you how to get into it again. You're a perfect example of people that have never done this. These girls have with me, all right? So you're gonna be behind it. You're perfect how you're set up. So your, your legs are open and you're like kind of on your inner knees. Now you're just gonna roll it forward as you sit and your toes stay behind you, okay. and knees are parallel going straight down. That's perfect, correct. that looks perfect to me. Keeping, yeah. <laughs> Keeping your core nice and tight. You're not doing anything with your ankles or your toes. You're just pushing your knees in, and squeezing that ball, hold, and back down. Now two, one, two, pop that ball. It'd be the best thing ever. Three, I used to say I'd give you free personal training, huh? Four. I'm breaking a sweat over here. Good, let's go for five. And hold for five seconds, hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release, now we got five again, here we go. Squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, four. Good, three. Beautiful, too. Girls, are you shaking in your inner thighs yet? These girls are feeling it. Woo! All right, toss that ball. Beautiful, one. Now let's do two pulses up at the top. One, two, perfect, let's go three. That's a wrap. So great job today. Awesome, so we're gonna do a butterfly stretch. You're gonna put the soles of your feet together. You're gonna bring them nice and close towards you. You're going to hold on to your toes, take a nice good deep breath, and then go ahead and lean forward and count to five. Good, we got two more of those. Get a nice good inhale right here. Exhale and hold for five. Good. This last one, you're gonna kind of push onto your knees to make it a little bit deeper stretch. So inhale, 
And exhale, I'm just gonna use my elbows to push on the outside of my knees. So we were just coming out of pigeon and we're gonna go on to our side hip. Go ahead and grab your top shoelaces. Your bottom leg can be either bent or straight. So you're just gonna bring that other knee to the, your knee and you're just gonna press your hip forward here so you can feel like an inner a top thigh of your stretch. From here what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your knee to your shoulder and then go ahead and just point your toes, reach to the sky. I like to point flex here to really get some circulation going. Good. Go ahead and bring that foot down. Switch to the other side. Focus on your breathing. Nice good inhales, exhales, getting a little bit deeper. Bring that knee to your shoulder. Kick it up. Right here, give me some points and flex. How flexible. Awesome, bring it down. Great job. That's a wrap for day 13. We'll see you on day 14.